lesson, we're going to look at Newton's first law of motion. So this is the first of lesson uh, 11. We're going to be able to describe inertia, and we're going to be able to understand how mass is directly related to inertia. Isaac Newton, there's a lot of different videos out there, but he was a very important person. He came up with the laws of motion, the universal gravitation, a lot of different things that, that, that we, can, we now uh, thank Newton for. He has three main laws that we hear about, many other things he's come up with, but the three laws of motion. First one was the law of inertia, which we'll see in this, this video. Uh, second law was the net force causes acceleration. And third law was talking about action-reaction pairs that we'll see in a future video. Well, what inertia is, is, which is the first law of motion, is an object's tendency to want to maintain its state of motion. So if it's at rest, it's going to stay at rest. Uh, if it's already moving, it's going to stay in moving unless acted upon by an outside force. And so friction of force and outside force that might stop an object. When you are in a car and you're driving and you, you, you hit the brakes, your body wants to keep on going, whatever your car's velocity was before. And so that's why you lean forward. Um, no force is required to get an object moving. It's already mo moving. A force is required to change its state of motion. And so there's two types of equilibrium that I want you to see here. Static equilibrium just means it's not moving and there's no net force. So it's going to stay not moving. Whereas dynamic equilibrium, this is going to be where an object's moving. Um, the closest you can think about on Earth is maybe a, if you get ice, you know, you can you can slide pretty far on ice because there's no because a lot of the friction is is gone now it's not perfect but uh dynamic equilibrium you can see in space with uh meteor asteroids flying through the flying through this through space they don't need any extra extra power to keep on going because they're already moving so earth the earth still follows the state of the laws of of the universe it's still it's still inertia is a thing on earth it's just that there's so many other forces that are interacting um, so frictional force is one of the main ones on Earth. When you think about on Earth, friction air resist, resistant opposes motion. So uh, gravity will make an object fall to the ground. And once it fa falls to the ground, then you're going to have objects rubbing up against each other. So there'll be these forces until the point where it stops. But in a vacuum of space, if you see this little asteroid flying by the Earth, um, there's no air resistance, no friction. And so objects would keep on moving if they were already moving. Inertia is directly related to mass. So here's an 80 kilogram person and you have a big old elephant, a 3,000 kilogram elephant. Uh, the the, the 3,000 kilogram elephant is going to be much harder to slow down. So once again, it's directly related to inertia. The more mass, the more inertia. So here are some questions. What is inertia? And it's going to be the tendencies of an object to, to keep its state of motion. If it's at rest, it's going to stay at rest. If it's in motion, it's going to stay at a constant velocity. Not going to speed up, not going to slow down, and not going to turn, because that would also be a change of velocity. How much force is required to get or keep an object moving? Choose the best answer. So you should pause the video. I didn't say that before, but pause the video every time you see a question, and that way you can ask the question. And then once you hit play, you can, you can see the answer. So none, the best answer here is none because if it's already moving, it doesn't need any net force, any more force to keep it going. Three, would a 0.5 kilogram toy car or a 1500 kilogram truck have more inertia and why? That's going to be the 1500 kilogram truck and that's because the more mass, the more inertia. So that whatever you see, whatever the bigger number is, that would be the, that would be the, the object that has more inertia. And I could ask this question like, you know, which one would be harder to stop? Which one would hard, be harder to get going? And for the most part, you would answer that correctly. 